Hello, design lovers. Let me ask you a question. How many times have you saved an image on Pinterest or dog-eared a page in a magazine never to look at it again? Well, in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to take all that forgotten inspiration and use it to unlock your inner designer and transform your home into the beautiful and welcoming space you deserve. If you're new around here, I'm Ashley Childers, an interior designer, product designer, and the founder of the Ashley Childers Home Furnishings brand. And on this channel, I share pro designer tips and interior inspiration for creating a home and life you love. Now let's dive in to today's video and unlock the creative designer within you. First things first, creativity starts with inspiration. Whether you're a professional artist or a design-loving homeowner. The first step we all have to take in our creative journey is to collect and study inspiration. You can do this a lot of different ways. Pinterest, magazines, pictures you took on vacation, a cutting of fabric or a paint swatch you love. The point is to create a visual representation of the images, styles, colors, textures, and details that you're naturally drawn to. This helps in visualizing your ideas and creating a cohesive theme. Once you have this collection of images and materials, it's time to put on your investigator cap and really study these pictures and pieces that you're so drawn to. Are there common themes running throughout them? Is it colors and shapes, textures and moods? What is it that speaks to you. Understanding the reoccurring elements that resonate with you is the first step in designing your personal style. After identifying the common threads that you're seeing throughout your inspiration images and materials, you need to group the images and materials accordingly so you can start pulling together what I like to call your creative blueprint or design mood board. This is your personal style DNA and will serve as the visual guide you can refer back to again and again as you design and decorate your home. Now, there's loads of online tools you can use to make your creative blueprint like Canva, for instance, which my team and I love and use every single day. But you can totally go old school with this and put your inspiration pictures together on a cork board or in a binder. It doesn't really matter, just as long as you have a way to easily reference your creative blueprint anytime you need to. Now, if you're enjoying this video so far, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more design tips and interior inspiration because we drop a new home and garden design video every single week, and I think you would love them. Okay, on to part of the creative process, and that's designing with purpose. Friends, hear me when I say, your home should not only reflect your personal style, but also your lifestyle. So how do you do this? You start by assessing your needs. Do you need a serene space for relaxation or a vibrant area for entertaining? Do you live alone or have a house full of family or roommates? Do you work from home or need to address issues like limited storage or multi-purpose spaces? The key is to focus on functionality in this step. I suggest writing what I call your non-negotiable list. This is something I do when I'm in the creative phase of every single interior design project that we do. This functional must-have list guides your design creativity just as much as visual inspiration does because good design is equal parts form and function. 
And for you to fully enjoy the home you create, you've got to identify your functional needs. So start by considering the flow of your home. How do you move from one room to another? Are there bottlenecks in flow or areas where clutter accumulates? Do you need to address a poor lighting situation or figure out a way to corral all your winter coats? Whatever the issues are, writing them down and keeping them top of mind when designing your home ensures you create spaces that are not only beautiful, but also functional. Finally, let's talk about part three, bringing it all together. This is where you take your visual inspiration and functional needs and combine them to create a space that's perfectly personal in every way. There's a lot to think about in this phase, but I'm going to share a few easy ways to simplify the process. First, let's match our must-have list with any of our inspiration images that directly correlate. For example, say you've listed address laundry room storage on your must-have list, and you have a picture on your mood board of fabulous laundry baskets that you love. Pair those up and now you have a visual representation of the practical solution that you need. Keep moving through your must-have list this way. And if you happen to not have an image for an item on your must-have list, find one. There's no better tool in design than visualization. So make sure you have a reference for each item on your list. Now, take this creative blueprint and get to work. And remember, designing and decorating your home doesn't happen overnight. As long as you're equipped with your creative blueprint and must-have list, you'll feel confident knowing that the design decisions you make over time will stay true to your functional needs and aesthetic direction. Thanks for joining me on this creative journey, design lovers. I can't wait to hear which part of today's video was your favorite. So let me know in the comments. And don't forget to connect with me over on Instagram at Ashley Childers Home and on Pinterest for a little daily design inspiration. If you loved this video and want to get more insider design tips for designing a space from start to finish, check out this video next. As always, I'm Ashley Childers. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, good design is for everyone. So create a home that inspires you. Have fun tapping into your design creativity and fall in love with where you live one room at a time. <music>